Well, good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. We're back out here at the wheat field. I'm gonna get the uh, air seeder fired up and start planting some wheat beans. We got about 50 acres cut yesterday. We're right about half done with this field cutting. There's a pretty good chance of rain coming tomorrow, so we gotta get this thing rolling if we wanna get wheat beans planted in here. So I'm gonna get the tractor fired up and start bordering it. We got some extra help today, so I'll get the border done and then Keith's gonna take over and start planting beans while I can cut wheat. Dad will be running the trucks and hopefully we can get this knocked out today. I had a little bit of seed left in the air seeder from the last field of beans that we planted. I'm gonna hop up here and make sure it is leveled out. I wanna run this out before I put some more in there. Eh, it's pretty level, I could move some over. I really don't like leaving seed in it, but there was enough in here that I didn't really want to clean it out. So I'm going to run, start running it with the seed that's in here and make sure everything's going to flow. It's been in the shed. It hasn't got rained on, so hopefully there didn't get any moisture in it. So make sure it's working before I put any other seed in it. I'm just getting things set up here. It's like my iPad's dead. I'll have to wait for that to charge a little bit. But got my blockage monitor up here, and I was going to set up the hydraulic flow for the blower so I'm gonna kick that on real quick and make sure we're at 23 inches water column and it looks like we are pretty close I've said it before but the needle on that gauge is white and the background is also white so it's really hard to see sometimes you got to get out and walk over there and look at it silly design like we're a little low. See how hard that is to see? iPad's charged up. Let's get that set up here. Let me get spun around here and get positioned where I want to start. Alright, we got two rows blocked. Row 4 and row 16. I just realized I forgot to bring tools to take the uh, Venturis off if I have issues, so... Might have to run back and get something. Not really sure what's going on. I'm gonna spin the wheel and see if we got seed coming out. That should be number 16 and I got seed there, so. Well, I think one of my hoses is plugged up on number four and I don't really have anything to shove through it. So dad ran home to get a roll of wire. We're gonna try and clean it out. While he's doing that, I'm gonna get the combine fired up and maybe dive into the wheat to make sure it's dry enough this morning. That way we can keep moving. Same 13-2, that'll work. Well, Dad's back with the wire. I'm gonna go see if he can, uh, or if we can get that figured out. The moisture did pick up. It must have had a little bit of wheat left from last night. It's up to about 15, 15, 4. So I don't know. We might want to hold off a little bit. I also noticed I'm leaving a strip of wheat right on the edge over here. I see there's a guard broke, and the knife is broke too. So we're gonna have to fix that. And that one's fun because you gotta take this whole bar off. Uh, this guard breaks like immediately as soon as you put it on and the previous owner said it did that too so what I'm thinking about doing is taking this one off and putting a, a worn out or a used guard over here and see if it's wore enough that it doesn't chatter and break it off and then I'll put a new one over here so we'll have to work on that We got that back together. It's uh, it had a big wad of beans stuck in it, I guess. Dad's working on the putting the new sickle section and guard on. I'm gonna start getting this field bordered. Well, they're all planting now. I'm uh, shooting for like 195 and 200. We're at 186. So 
we're a little low, I'll have to turn it up. I don't have my auto control box in the cab because I normally don't run it on this tractor, so I'll have to get out and crank it up a little bit. Well, we're out of beans. I got 4.7 acres done, so eh, it was worth emptying it out. Didn't have any troubles after we got those two hoses cleared up. I'm gonna go fill up and finish bordering this field. I'm back in the combine. Got Keith going, planting beans over there. And uh, he's probably gonna catch up with me because he's wider and going faster than I am, so. Some of you may be wondering why we have such a big tractor on the air feeder. Well, the reason is that tractor doesn't get used for a whole lot anymore now that we switched to more strip till and no-till. We don't really feel cultivate that much. We don't really chisel plow that much. So the two smaller tractors just get all the hours, so. I decided to just put that on it to spread out the hours a little bit. Yeah, it's way too big, but it does the job. It's not like it's wet out here, so we're not really worried about compaction. So spread the hours out, put a few on this, and save some on the other tractors, I guess. Well, Keith's just about out of beans. Gonna go help him get filled up real quick and keep cutting wheat, I guess. We got 103 acres done, so about 27 left. 130 here, so should be able to knock this one out today. Then we got another 30 acre field at Dad's. Not sure if we'll get there today before the rain, but we'll see. back in the combine. We're getting close. That's the edge right over there. About 10 acres left. Well, Maria had some come up, so I had to run and pick Garrett up real quick. So Dad finished the last little bit of wheat. Got the field done. Keith's just about done planting beans, I think. I ran over and got the header cart. I don't know if you can see it back there. I'm bringing it around, drop the draper on there, and, um, I'll wait and see if anybody needs a ride. I think dad's dumping a truck right now. So. I guess dad beat me over here. Not on over here. Now it's on. I hopped in the air seater real quick to finish the end rows. This uh, machine has suction control, or the uh, 2630 views has a suction control activation. I don't know if you can see that, but the coverage map doesn't turn off when you turn around on the ends. Yep, I'm running running out that's fine it doesn't turn off so the section control thinks those spots are already planted and i forgot to tell keith that so i got to go back over the end rows because as you can see it was turning on and off as it was going so not a big deal i just kind of forgot to tell him that so i hopped in to cover these end rows real quick if anybody knows how to fix that i don't i don't understand it if section control is on it'll make that loop but if you turn it off it won't make that loop so i don't understand it just had enough seed, so it's running out. So I'm gonna have some skips, but I'm not too concerned about it. Just wanna get the cedar empty at this point. Never fails, time to quit in the deep 
PF starts burning. Well, we're done. We got that 130 acre field done. We got the beans planted. There's a little bit of showers popping up on the radar right now, so we got done just in time. Uh, pretty good chance of rain all day. <coughs> Sorry. Pretty good chance of rain all day tomorrow. It's looking like we could get about an inch, which would really be great. We need the rain. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to finish the rest of the week, but I'll take the rain instead. What is that in the ditch? It's like a five-gallon bucket with a battery. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.